Hi everyone, welcome to the channel and a new video. We're gonna pick up today where we left off with the little combo van. We think we know what's wrong with it. We got the usual injection problem. Now, thank you everybody for reaching out with your suggestions, links, etc. Quite a lot of you reached out about getting remanufactured, getting uh, the original injectors reconditioned. You know we've got quite a few spares left over from the other vehicle. So that was an option, but me and Chris had a good, good chat about it. And we're selling these vans to members of the public. We're selling them to you guys. In fact, the last two of these vans we had, both went to subscribers. And quite frankly, we're not prepared to put remanufactured or, look, we've had a bad experience with having a set of injectors completely refurbished quite a long time ago and I just don't want to go down that road when I'm selling it to someone if it was for myself or if it was for Chris then for sure we'd go down that cheaper route and try it so this van was actually 950 pound because it had a few marks around it I did knock him down a little bit so we had a bit of a chat about it it's done a lot less miles it is a nice van we're going to be asking more money for it we've bit the bullet we've bought another set of 900 pound injectors this is still going to work out a cheap van for us so like i said we're going to pick up where we left off i've got a new diesel filter there we're going to get that fitted we're going to fit four new injectors and we're going to try and complete every job on this van in this video and get it all done because we don't want to drag it out but i'll probably i will put do a little bit of time lapse but you send me do these twice before i've already got the uh, electrics here loosened up so it's just a case of taking off all the pipe work the electrics get them out and get them swapped out so enough waffle let's crack on and get to it So you'd have seen me changing the diesel filter there, guys, and it's um, it was quite mucky in the bottom of the tray, but I've cleaned it all out, the bowl, and put the nice new filter in. And there's all the old injectors there. So I'm just going to clean up all the holes where they go in because it's quite mucky in there. I'll get all that lot cleaned up, and then we'll get the new ones fitted. Quite a lot of work there, same as last time. Got the blue paper towel over the end of the screwdriver just kept twisting it down the holes to get all of the crud out of there and the excess little drops that I couldn't get out I was just poking the tip of the screwdriver into that grease just pushing down there picking up all the little bits and then give them another clean out I've got the four new injectors here four new seals so we'll crack on get them fitted in them little uh, cradles I suppose you'd call them and get these four fitted back in now I got that done just in time so we've got all the old injectors there four nice new ones all fitted we haven't got the air box on yet but we're completely cold you can see the temperature gauge hasn't moved glow plug lights out fire in the hole well that's not good is it So guys, I was a bit worried there. I thought well, it's got new injectors, it's got a new filter. 
Chris come out, obviously after I cut, he said, what's up, mate? I said, it won't start. He went, electric primer for the fuel. <laughs> For the fuel pump, I never primed it. So if you remember last time, give it a couple of primes. Look, glow plug light out. Swiss watch. What an idiot. It's Friday afternoon. I don't know what day you're going to be watching this, but it's been a very, very busy week for me and Chris. So, yeah, that's that bit done. Let's move on and get it cleaned on Monday. It's now the next morning. And as you can see, I've just thrown the air filter on there temporarily. It's not bolted on. And I just want to get the van up to temperature, get the oil really hot, because we are going to do oil filter, air filter, and the oil change on it. One bit I did want to pick up on, because I know quite a lot of you would have noticed in that last little bit yesterday, the oil light is flashing. Now, on most cars, that would actually be a bit of a panic. But that's actually to tell you that this van does need a service. So hopefully this goes well. So ignition on, throttle pedal all the way to the floor. Press the brake pedal seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then you hold the throttle pedal down, the accelerator pedal, if you'd like to call it that, for a further 60 seconds. So now it says release the throttle pedal. Turn off the ignition. Wait another 60 seconds. I've had to repeat that procedure a couple of times. So throttle pedal off, ignition off. Trying to do it and video it at the same time. It is quite difficult, to be honest. I'm trying to rush it, that's what it is. And there we go. That is all now reset. I'm not going to set the time and date yet because that battery I got from Kent Autos is miles too big. I am charging the original one. I've looked on the side of it and it is actually the correct cranking amps for the van. So maybe it just needed half a chance and a good charge. Let's get on and get it oil serviced. All now fully serviced. Oil filter, air filter, diesel filter, and a nice oil change. I've put that battery back on and it fired right up. So we're gonna roll with that for a minute. We have now got to start the process of trying to tidy it up. And the first things first is gonna be the reflective stickers. I was gonna give it a quick rinse off and see what we was up against, but I don't really wanna be dragging the extension lead round with uh, water all over the floor i know quite a lot of you don't like that and you have told me off before so 103,377 miles this one really like i said really nice van pretty much like the others got a nice cd player in it it's got the aux usb on it down now oh, i've got to continue just getting this tracker removed that was in it this little camera if you missed it in the last one it's actually a tracker and a camera so and when I was taking it out, I actually pushed that panic button and it started calling someone. So we need to get that out. We've got air con as well. I'll test for all that later, but let's move on. Hopefully get this one done. Yeah, we will. We get this one done. We crunch the numbers and get it up for sale. Let's move on.
although it's come out like a beautiful summer's day down here in Kent, which is unbelievable. We was, Chris was just saying he was out here doing his sister's brake pads only last Saturday in the thick snow. So just funny how it changes so quick. The van is quite repetitive. I did, I have done it before on video. So for those of you guys that haven't seen me completely do this start to finish, do feel free to go back and watch one of the earlier videos on the combos. But for those of you guys that have seen it, I'm not going to sit there and film me doing the whole lot. So we basically, I've just done one side. It was a very strange way of doing it. But I thought what we'll do is I'll leave this side and then you can compare basically what it is that I am doing. So I've got to move on to this side, get those stripes off, spin off all the glue on the sign writing. I did start to do it, but you can still see there's bits of it in there so and then just run the mop over it we're not trying to get a showroom shine on it we're just trying to get it nice tidy and clean and i think you would agree that looks very nice and bright and tidy now all of the stripes gone all of the residues gone from it and i've just gone around chuck the wheel trims on and give it a bit of a wash over and it really does it is quite a nice van it's got a couple of very minor little marks on it it's got one there and it's got one down there on the seal i'm sure if you looked around it you'd you know all day you'd find it but i'm not i'm just going to crack on and get the rest of it finished now and then obviously it is going to need an mot it's actually expired i didn't realize so I won't be recording that side, just this side. It's pretty bright out here today, but hopefully it shows. I've still got to clean all the glass and give the inside a good clean, black all the bumpers, but I wanted to get it to this stage so that we could at least take it for an MOT. And I think you'll agree, it's come out really, really nice. It does look, it's ready for someone to jump in and go to work in. I didn't bother taking the chevrons off the back on this one. It has got a dent in the bottom of the door there. You can see it just, just creased in there. And if you take them off, it'll look quite sore, I think. Like that, it actually looks okay. Wants a nice bit of black on the tyres. What I'll probably do is um, get it MOT'd and then bring it back. Sorry, I am trying to hide another project there, guys, that we haven't told you about yet. So I've got to be really careful. Yeah, probably get it MOT'd and then bring it back, get it all cleaned up. We'll do the numbers and get it up for sale. Let's take it over for an MOT and see how we get on. did say I would keep you all up to date every time I come for an MOT on this Mark 1 Golf GTI build that they're doing. They seem to have the engine and gearbox all situated in there now and starting to get all the running gear lined up. He did say there was quite a lot of cutting around and modifications to make but they really are getting there with it. And there is all the later loom in there and he's going for the original Mark 5 later dashboard in here as well but seat mountings they've all had to come out the mark 5 golf i don't think it'll be too long and they'll have this on the road seem to be moving along with it very very quickly just back from mot and lovely it's passed no advisories at all and uh yeah now i've got a year's mot on it when i first left the yard let's just jump out actually when i first left the yard exactly the same as the other two as well it and I've bellowed out quite a lot of smoke so I'll give it a good run down the dual carriageway and within two miles it had completely cleared it does drive really really nice this one very nice and tight everything I didn't show in the back last time as well and I did actually stop on my way back because I had to have the spare wheel done for my little blue combo and I picked that up but it needs a good bit of a a clean in here but we'll get that done clean it all up but it really is a nice one it's got that parcel shelf as well which sorry the last two didn't actually have i'm not really sure what purpose that serves but in the back as well 
All the seats are quite nice in this one. It has got one little cover broken on the seat belt. I'm just going to turn over some... Uh, that's right, I've got nothing there with my name on it. I took my packing up with me. It's got the seat covers in it. I'll probably whip them off. I will tonight and get my missus to chuck them in a the washing machine. And it's got like the CD player and the USB and all that sort of stuff on it as well. And it's got quite a lot of history with it, this one. We're really, really happy of how it turned out. Let's go inside and crunch them numbers. I always start smiling just before I'm going to do this bit because I always laugh. It's everybody's most favourite bit. I'm sure that a lot of people, they stick around right till the end so they can hear the numbers on this little van. So it is the end of the little van. Very, very quick job again. I suppose from start to finish, it's probably been a day and a half. Let's say two days maximum because I did come in Saturday and do a bit on it as well. So purchase price, that van had a few little dings around it and we knew it was possibly going to need a set of injectors. He asked me the same amount he always does. I bid him and I got it for 950 which I think was fair. One bit that I do always leave out, and you guys do always mention it, so Chris said, you know what, we're going to start including that. And that's transport costs. I did put 25 quid in my truck to go and get it, so we've got £25 now. Injectors. They was, I haven't worked it out because I've got to do this reasonably quick, but the injectors was £180 each plus VAT. And you know that we went down the route of getting genuine new injectors because we're selling it on. Uh, fuel filter, oil filter, air filter, the oil, we went right through that, give it a full service, 100 quid. Uh, MOT, just took it over and it's passed with flying colours. All the tyres on it look really good. It drives very, very nice. £40. The battery and the wheel trims from Ken Auto Salvage was £40. So we've got a total for that van of £2,019, which, again, very, very cheap. So I've kind of done a bit of a comparison to the last couple we've sold. Now, the first one we ever sold had done 163,000 miles, and I sold it for... 2.6 I think and all of you said it's way too cheap Rob you're doing yourself me and Chris do like to turn them around get them out as fast as we can have a little bit of profit out of it and of course provide content for you guys so going back to the last one we actually sold which was the middle one I'd done 170,000 miles and I advertised that van for 2995 and sold it I think as the minute I put it on Instagram it was gone so there is a huge, huge difference in this van to them other two vans. This one has only done 103,000 miles. It's just had a clutch fitted before we bought it. We've put them new injectors in it. It's had a full service. And we are actually, I've had a quick flick through eBay and the cheapest one I can find with 130,000 on it is just over 4,000 pounds. So we're still gonna go in cheap and we're going to ask 3750 for that van. And by the end of today, I'll probably, I'm not even really going to do a massive run around in it. I'm going to run around in it for the next couple of days. And we're going to get that up for sale for 3750. And I think whoever buys it is going to get a nice cheap little van there. And peace of mind that it's had that service. It's got new injectors, so they're ready to go. So that is going to be the end of today's video. If you haven't already, don't forget, please do consider subscribing. Check out the merchandise. The link is in the description. That's enough waffle, the new t-shirts. And don't forget, if you enjoy it, please do give us a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it, and it shows your appreciation. We'll see you very, very soon in the next one.